We're here today at WPPI, and I want to say thank you to Aperti for sponsoring this video. Aperti is a program that Skylum has been building in partnership with Julia Trotti, who you might know from the YouTube. I also have a real shoot with her and Dan coming up on the channel next week, so subscribe to the channel, turn the bell on if you want to be notified about that. Today I am on my photo walk at the convention where I talk through my process for capturing candid natural light images that never feel forced or posed. I think the overall goal for me is to create images that my couples feel comfortable and confident in, as well as capturing something that is a real moment that actually means something to them. I use natural light when possible because it feels the most organic to the day, but not all natural light is created equal. Sometimes open shade will give you a green cast or dark circles, so it's important to see how the light bounces into the scene and what the best direction is. So while a program like Aperti is going to really streamline your retouching, it is important that you start with a really good quality image. A few other things I try to do, uh, eliminate distracting backgrounds when possible, or use shallow depth of field to help those distractions disappear. Today I'm using the Tamron 2875 f2.8 because it does give me a lot of versatility in the zoom. It also allows me to get shallow depth of field when shot at 2.8. All the images you're seeing are also shot on the Nikon Z6 III. Now here we are in the office and I'm going to go through and edit some of the images that you've already seen inside Aperti. If you're not familiar with Aperti, it is from Skylum. They've been doing Luminar Neo and a bunch of other software programs for a long time now and I was actually using the retouch tools within Neo before Aperti existed and it's amazing that they built out that small piece that was inside another software package into something larger and even more useful. There's a few benefits so number one I would say is the pricing model. You're not editing images by credits that everything is an all-inclusive price so you get the program and that's it. It also all happens locally on your system so you're not sending anything to the cloud to be edited so if you have to maintain privacy for a job or it's an NDA job that you don't feel comfortable sending something out over the internet, everything does happen on your system, which is amazing. This also means that you can do it offline as well. So if you are at a venue, you're doing a headshot day or something and you require all your editing to be done and you don't have access to Wi-Fi or hotspot, you're able to do that. And the other main benefit is if you want to batch process, say an entire wedding day, a lot of us I know are delivering maybe 500, 700 photos for a wedding day. You can realistically send that entire wedding day to Aperti and it will just edit and any, any face that it detects, that's going to do a nice job on it. And I would say also that the retouch, uh, as you're going to see, or as I guess you've already seen, is not going to be an extreme retouch. You're not creating porcelain doll people that look like AI. You're adding natural enhancements that will hopefully be, they'll, they'll look at the photo and they'll be like, wow, I look really nice. They're not gonna think, wow, I've been heavily retouched. There are a few ways you can actually use this software from inside of Lightroom or inside of Photoshop. So if you don't wanna open up an additional piece of software, you can make this happen all within that. We're going to be using the standalone version today in this example. And also you have a few options. You can either edit everything as you normally would with your preset, or you can create a preset in here, or what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using some of Julia's presets here, specifically pure light. So I have some raw images loaded in here and I'm going to click pure light and already that looks pretty nice. I feel like this goes with any sort of uh, editing, retouching you're doing. Go 100% and then dial it back a little bit. I'm gonna go back to 80 here. Then we're gonna come over to this image and I'm gonna show you just uh, some preset examples. So that's pure light at 100%, ocean breeze 100%, golden hour. Soft blush, soft blush looks really nice in this uh, lighting setup. So I might actually leave it as that. Now beyond the preset, you also have access to everything that you would expect in terms of exposure and colors down here. So if you really want to dial something in and get specific, you can. And also you can save that as your own preset so you're able to apply it to many photos. Same with the retouching that we're gonna talk about in a second, which makes it really easy to batch process. Speaking of which, in your presets panel, you're gonna have a retouch tool right here. Julie is the expert here. I can just use her preset and set that to 100% and I'm probably gonna be good to go. We're gonna build our own and get a little bit more specific, but if it is your first time in this program and you just wanna see how good it is, so sign up and give it a try and see if it works for you. We're not gonna use this today, we're gonna to build our own. We're gonna come down here into the face on the side here and it's identified the only face in the scene. If there's more faces, it will identify more faces and we're gonna to go to blemish removal I don't see any extreme blemishes, but it will remove any, uh, I guess my, my method for this is anything that is not permanent. So if it's acne, if it's something that is going to disappear eventually, I don't want that to be part of their forever photo. So I will make that disappear. And then a recent addition, so this is a new feature, wrinkle removal. So if you are doing family photos and people have wrinkles, uh, crow's feet beside their eyes or forehead wrinkles or smile line, you're able to fix all of those. And again, you can save this as a profile that's going to go on top of any of your images and affect any of the faces in the scene. So we are going to enable that to make our preset. 
We're also going to come down here into skin smoothing. Again, I'm not going to go to 100. 100 actually doesn't look super crazy. Uh, I'm going to go somewhere more around 50. Again, my goal is for somebody to look at the photo, think they look good and not think that they've been retouched. Face skin color correction. So this will help out if you're getting some mixed lighting and there's just colors that shouldn't be there. Dark circle removal. I'm going to slide that up to 20. Face brighten, I feel like this adds a lot. So this is an extreme example uh, if I'm adding a little bit too much light, but somewhere around there just helps the photo pop a little bit more. And again, I'm designing a preset that is going to go across an entire wedding day and not just specifically for this photo. So I'm gonna put it there so that it doesn't uh, over affect when people are in good light, but when they're in bad light and they do need a little bit of that face brightening, it's going to come in very subtly. Down here into eyes, I'm gonna add a little bit of iris flare again, the goal is not to make this look like it's been crazy retouched. A little bit of eye whitening, eye enhancement, maybe redness removal. Again, this is gonna be a general preset for everything. Teeth whitening, again, going up to 16. Teeth brightening. Lip blemish removal, so this means that if there's any, um, I would say, probably makeup flaws, that if you are doing a wedding day and it's a long day, at some point that makeup is not going to be 100%, and yeah, they're gonna go back for touch-ups, but sometimes there are some blemishes on lipstick and lip smoothing as well. You can also actually add makeup if you want. Uh, I'm not a professional makeup artist, so I'm not going to get into those features and demonstrate them, but if you are not working with a professional makeup artist, uh, this might be an option for you. You're also able to only put these profiles on specific people. So if you only wanna do wrinkle removal on anyone that identifies as elderly, you're able to do that. You're also able to set the parameters a lot lower for a child or for a teen, or maybe for a teen, you might wanna dial up that blemish removal. You can also individually select people if you want, if there's more people in the scene. Uh, but what I built out here, I feel like is, is pretty general and will work pretty well for anyone that would happen to be in a picture where their face is visible enough uh, to be identified. Coming down here into the, you can also just hit the T button to get into the, I'm gonna call it a transform reshape tool. And uh, what you can do, uh, so we're not gonna use this again too heavily, but uh, you might have seen a video that I've done on the channel called the 98% trick, where it just shrinks everybody by a, a little tiny percentage and everyone feels a little bit better. You're also able to do that if you wish. So you're able to reshape people a little bit, including body down here. I would say that this is maybe more for specific portraits, so I'm not gonna be adding this to an entire gallery, but if I am doing a portrait session, maybe this is gonna come in handy. Well, let's do a little before and after. So that's the before, that's the straight out of camera shot. And after, the edit and aperture, as you can see, it looks a heck of a lot more professional. Next up, a pretty crazy tool. So we're gonna go inside here. You can actually add light sources. So as you can see, when you have a light source here, you can show on canvas and the light source exists right here. And what is interesting, so I'm gonna overdo it. So it's gonna be a little too crazy, but I'm gonna show you the power of it. And as you can see, it really looks like you're just moving a light around in the scene. You could absolutely do something to save an image if ever needed. You could also um, change the hue and the saturation. So if you do wanna get absolutely crazy with it, you're able to do that with it. So if you wanna do that little by lighting setup and not affect the face, you're actually able to do that, which is pretty crazy. Not something I'm gonna batch process with an entire wedding day, but a creative option as well as something to help you problem solve if you do need to counter some light. Now, when you are happy with the preset that you've created, you come in here, you click this, and then in the future when I wanna to add to this photo, it's just one click. And it's everything that I just did to that last image. And I'm able to batch that across again an entire wedding day, which is amazing. If you are making something custom for a wedding day and you just wanna copy just that adjustment alone, you can do that. Hit Control A. Then you can paste these across any section of the day you want. So the before and the after. Before, after, before, after, before, after, compositionally, I put a tree coming out of Katie's head. That's not so good, but the colors overall look really, really nice. And it's a very natural looking retouch that I'm really, really happy with. And last thing I'll touch on, if you do need to do any masking, so for instance, uh, maybe, maybe Katie is in a, a lighting situation that doesn't really fit the rest of the scene, or maybe she's in the shade and underexposed, you have full control over that. I would say if you do wanna brighten somebody up and make them pop from a mask, the way to go about that, rather than just cranking the exposure, it looks pretty obvious, I would say come down on the contrast up on the shadows, and that way you can hide the edit a little bit better. But again, don't put trees coming out of people's heads because you're a professional. Thanks so much for watching. If you are interested in getting in on Aperti, there is a link down below. Sign up for it, see if it works for you. Batch process, wedding days, do whatever you need. Your clients are going to be happier with you overall. Thanks again to Aperti for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you again next time.